It's Monday morning, February the 18th in King Harbor. They just brought in the first two of these large coke drums for the El Segundo Chevron refinery. There will be a total of six of them. They're 100 feet long, 28 feet in diameter, and weigh 500,000 pounds each. Those drums will replace the existing ones built in 1968. I want to see how they pull those gigantic monsters off the barge. Well, everything is going okay right now, but there is talk about a lunch break. I'm back, and they already pulled off one. Looks like water is being pumped into the barge to keep it level. Now the second drum is almost off. Later the drums will be transported down PCH on the same equipment used for the space shuttle Endeavour to its final place in the exposition park. This is a slow operation and it's one step at a time as the barge is being held level by pumping water in, in and out. Yeah, it looks like uh, looks like the thing is moving again, and uh, it's a slow process, but they know what they're doing. It's Monday evening. It's about eleven o'clock. At ten o'clock, they closed the street. They had large crews working on clearing the road, uh, changing the uh, traffic signals. The pole you see in front of us was lifted up and turned 90 degrees, so therefore the Hirondo and uh, 190th Street sign is pointing in the opposite direction now. So uh, they, they're pulling the unit out with one truck, and all this undercarriage stuff you see is uh, not what was used to pull the drums off the barge. That's a different system. They brought the, the drums up to the staging area and um, maybe in the staging area, I'm not sure, exchanged the undercarriage. These trucks now have uh, got many, many wheels and uh, are more suited for pulling it down the highway. As you can see, it's a very slow operation. A lot of people are working on this. I must have seen maybe 20 police vehicles, maybe it was 30, and they're all driving back and forth with their lights on. They made sure all the roads are closed. They, the roads intersecting PCH are, are blocked off. It sure looks like everything is going well. Presently there is one truck in front and one truck in the rear. And I understand the truck in the rear acts not only as a pusher but also as a brake when they go downhill somewhat. So now you can, you can start to see the uh, second truck in the back. Now, what I will do is I will go close to Artesia and there is uh, quite an incline. It will be interesting to see how they negotiate that incline. Here we are. 
So as you can see, they now have three trucks. A little earlier, it became apparent that two trucks couldn't do it. They couldn't, they couldn't pull the units up, so they uh, came up with a third one, hooked it up, and looks like now it's, it's working. So that is close by 21st Street, going up the incline to uh, Artesia. And uh, looks like it's doing well. So I believe they, they'll be able to finish that run uh, down to the refinery before 5 in the morning. The street is supposed to open up again at 5. i seen a crew here, they uh, took down some wires. Now they weren't high power lines, they were, they were probably uh, a telephone and, and uh, BIOS cable television cables and they actually put them on the street and they put, a, they put some kind of device over it so you can drive over it so apparently they couldn't push those up high enough for this thing to fit through so they just put them on the street as you can see there's a lot of flashing lights and very confusing with all these lights just everywhere. Now the big bright light back there, it's actually a, a truck pulling a something with a generator and, and some pretty uh, bright, uh, lights for illuminating the whole scene. But if you look at the sheer size of this unit, it is pretty mind-boggling. So, like I was saying, they're probably they're probably able to finish the run tonight and get them down to the refinery. It's probably only four miles or so from here. So, well, that's it. You can see the truck pushing in the back. And earlier I could smell burned rubber from when the trucks actually had a hard time before they added the, uh, the third truck in the front. So right now we got four trucks pushing and pulling this thing. But it's working out. So that's it folks.